Hello, and welcome to the Hollywood Podcast. We are here on YouTube as well. So anybody who's tuning in, you can actually watch on YouTube today too, because I have a wonderful guest with me, Joyce Brinton. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited to have you here. And I'm going to give you guys a little info about Joyce, and then I'll let her share even more about herself. But she is a energy coach. She is the energy lady. If you see her on YouTube, she's got a lot of videos. I get emails from her, the energy ladies in town. She's doing videos every Friday. I love it. And her, um, her work is so beautiful. Amazing. She's a facilitator for change, a catalyst for those seeking freedom, peace, power, and joy and love in my opinion. <laughs> and she's got a master's degree in counseling and educational psychology her company is Healing Evolution. She's so much more than that. Joyce, did I miss anything you want to share and let people know? Or should we just dive in? We just dive in. Yeah. All right. All right. So I, I got Joyce on here. She agreed to come on. And we were want to talk about energy mastery and energy work and how and why it's important, what we can do, what we use it for. And she's got tons of stories. She's even got a book out. She's an author. She's a wonderful woman. Let's dive in. Let's dive in on this energy mastery. Okay. So um, a lot of people are familiar with energy these days. They're getting more and more familiar, I should say, and more and more interested, which is really cool because there's energies in everything. Absolutely everything. People say they have money problems. Well, there's energy and money. Mm -hmm. You know, people say they have problems with, with their bodies, their health. Well, it's because of energy and um, their relationships. It's because of energy. And if things aren't going well with their work, it's because of energy. And so energy is becoming a more talked about subject where years ago it used to be like, that's kind of weird, kind of woo-woo. Mm -hmm. It's becoming more and more, I think, more and more of an interest to people. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's almost like trending a lot of it. And it's not yeah. like on the fringe and the outskirts. It's not like the weirdos are talking about it. It's it's getting pretty mainstream with people. Yeah, and and also people who are, and there's nothing wrong with Western medicine, but there are people who have been frustrated with Western medicine. Mm -hmm. So they're looking for options. You know, what else yeah. is out there for me if, if this isn't working and energy work works? It does. And, oh, yeah. I, I've had a million experience, not a million. <laughs> That's exaggerating. Hundreds of experiences with people that have come in with either ailments or injuries, you know, and it, it helps, helps heal it. Just the idea that the, the energy work is not just for like, oh, it's going to be my emotions and oh, I feel better that way. It's like, I physically feel better. So for anybody listening, watching, I have done and trained with Joyce. I've done this energy mastery coursework that she does and um, I use it and I, I'm not as good about using it daily, but in time I think of Joyce, I think, okay, I got to do my, my daily cleanses and everything that, that comes with that because it makes a difference and it makes uh, mental clarity. It gives me my body's healthier. I use it on my kids when a little boo-boo happens or when a big boo-boo happens, <laughs> yes. I invite them to use it. I use this cord cutting technique that we have, that you have, and there's, there's a lot to it. And I think it's, it's not just about like, oh, I feel good. It's like, I physically feel good. I'm grounded and I have health and I'm centered in my body. There's a lot to it, energy and this this particular energy mastery that you do is really comprehensive. And so I was like, I'm so glad to share it with people. It is. It is. And I like the word even comprehensive. It It's all encompassing. You know, um, I've worked with other practitioners who do energy work, but not energy mastery work that if this is called energy mastery foundations, the technique that I teach. And um, it's a technology that's, it's a system that's put together that works phenomenally. And, you know, other energy workers that I've worked with, when I work with them, they're like, oh my gosh, this is cool. This is like a system. And I it's comprehensive. Said, yeah. yeah, it is. It's like all encompassing, you know? And um, and that's what I love about it because I, I like things that tell me, you know, I'm a cook, I like to cook. Mm -hmm. I don't really follow recipes anymore, but I learned to cook by following recipes, you know? Right. That's that's how I learned to cook. That's where and, you start. Yeah. And so it's the same thing with energy work, having a recipe, you know, in the class, I have a workbook and I have recipes. I have protocols. Yes. For the most common ailments, you know, it's like, we got a recipe. So somebody has arthritis. Okay. We got a recipe for that. You know, mm -hmm. 
And, I and loved it when I you had like it. the COVID recipe slash yeah. protocol. It's just like, okay, COVID's rampant yes. right now. Let's do this. You even have a migraine protocol. Yes. So it's yes. like these physical ailments and you have also the, the emotional experiential ailments, which is like yes. the, uh, the anxiety, right? Cause yes. who, yes. there's so much anxiety out there, right? Lots of people are talking about it and experiencing it. So having a protocol to deal with anxiety in the moment yeah. and be able to do that. And, and I don't know if we said this, but you can do this work on yourself. That's huge. That's the best part. That is yeah, right. Best part. And that is something that not all, and, and, and I'm not even knocking the energy workers. I'm just saying the ones that I've worked with that come from different backgrounds, they're like, weren't taught or don't work on themselves. Mm-hmm. And, and I work on myself every single day. I will not leave my bedroom in the mornings without working on myself. Because the minute I leave my room, I'm distracted. I got stuff to do, you know, and, and things are going on. If I leave my bedroom in the morning without doing my, my, um, energy cleanse on myself, then it's, it's over. The day's so a little I harder, just, huh? Yeah. I just don't leave the bedroom because I know that I will get too distracted and, and several things that will pull me away from it. So, right. so it's, it's really essential for me to work on myself. So I hear a lot about people doing a daily practice. And so this must be part of your daily practice. Does it in- is it the whole thing? Is it every morning, afternoon, evening? Like how often do you bring this into your daily life? I mean, every well, minute, every, right? But <laughs> well, every morning I do an energy cleanse on myself. Very cool. But then I have like, I do a meditation, you know, I do my so there's exercises. A lot okay. there's, yeah. I, I have about an hour tailor and a half. It. Yeah. I have about an hour and a half protocol of stuff that I do on myself every morning. But, so of um, that hour and a half, how much is this energy cleanse that you got to do? That's a good question. Only takes me about 15 minutes to do an energy so, cleanse for myself. That's good news because I mean, not everybody's going to sit there for an hour and a half and have no. the attention span no. or like, I mean, I've got kids, you know me and it's like, okay, but 15 minutes to make my yes. day better. And I'm yes. telling everyone, because I have experienced that when I do my energy cleanses, life is smoother. Life is easier instead of like getting snagged and hanging on to and hooking in with like the day to day. I'm just like, Oh, that's happening. And I can keep moving. Like I don't get snagged by that stuff when I do my cleanses in the morning. So I think that's so simple. It's such a good offering to yourself every day, like a way that's self-care. I think we were, we were talking about this earlier in Joyce, but yeah, that's a good way to start the day. So you do the the ultimate self-care really. The ultimate self-care is to clean your energy so that so that you're not a sponge for everybody else's energy and everybody else's junk. That's, you know, you, you want to keep yourself yeah, clear. Sure. So everybody else's stuff is theirs and your stuff's yours. And let's, let's keep it separate. You know? So I, I mean, I do them in the mornings. If I have a really wild day and I'll do a cleanse myself at night too. Mm, um, does just, that help you dream better or just pe- sleep peacefully just, sleep? Yeah. Just sleep. Better. That's and, good and news. Another little tip is to take a salt bath. I take a salt bath every night. Oh, I love it. So, you know, salt bath and just regular table salt. That's Four the cool cups. thing about that. It's Four just regular table salt. Yeah. It's not Himalayan. It's not, um, whatever the other one is Epson, you Epson, know, yeah. yeah. Which it's is great. Those are good, salt. but yeah. regular table salt can get the job done. Cause it's that yeah. conductor and like taking energy off and helping cleanse you. I yeah. think how much better could we sleep if we were doing this energy cleanse right before bed? Because if you're ingesting social media, if you have a job, if you, you know, are working from home in your relationships, if you like, there's so much going on in life. Why not be sovereign in your energy? And this work oh, helps yeah. clean out your energetic field. And oftentimes my, I'm of the opinion is that stuff starts out in our energy field and it makes its way in deeper. And that's when it manifests physically. Cause we have all these like energetic bodies. And so if out in our energy field, it's messy and there's something out there, it's gonna move in. And maybe it's a thought that we hung on to, but let's clean that stuff out. So does it clean out thoughts? Would you, would you describe it that way? Like, what are we cleaning out with these cleanses? Well, it, like you said, our energy fields around us and I call it poopyville, you know, nice. it gets poopy, it's poopy uh-huh. energy. And, and that poopy energy is, it does eventually set in the body and make people sick. Mm-hmm. So people who don't clean up their energy and they have a lot of negative thoughts, which also swirl around in their energy field, then that eventually sets in and makes us sick. And so keeping your energy field clean also makes you healthier physically. So you get, you know, now the mind chatter stuff, 
I used to have so much mind chatter. My husband used to say I could write novels, the crap in my brain. You know, I mean, like it I was that. nonstop, nonstop. And now, now that I, since I started, and I started eight years ago to do energy cleansing, since oh I started gosh, this, you know, since I started doing it on myself every day, I do not have that. I do. Not I like have the that. idea of just having my own thoughts because I have a brain that's like, I'll hear lots of different thoughts and ideas and I can try them on and so forth. But I have to take that time to be like in my own energy to just hear my thoughts. And when I've let in all of these other thoughts and kind of hung on to them or, Oh, judge them. Then like, I need a way to cleanse those off. So I can just hear me and get a tune and centered in my body and being. And I think this tool is a great way to do that. And maybe that goes for people's emotions or their heart center, because this work also is attacking. That sounds wrong. No, that's not the word I want to use, but it's addressing. That's the word I want to use each of the chakras and, you know, different chakra centers than just the seven. And so I think that's another thing to know. There's protocols in this work and then it addresses the energetic bodies and not just, you know, the, the basic seven, but some of the other ones too. And the yeah. other ways our aura functions, the strata, and there's, there's a lot to it again, comprehensive. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there is a lot. To, and that's why actually the class I teach is a two day class because there's a lot to teach. And I always, I teach it with the thought of, you know, when you learn to read, you learn, first of all, the first thing children learn in preschool is letters, mm -hmm. right? Once they learn those letters, then they learn how to put those letters together. And then they learn how to sound out a word. And that's exactly how I teach a two-day energy class. It's like, I'm going to teach you the letters of energy first. Then I'm going to teach you how to put it together in words. And then I'm going to teach you how to put it together in a protocol. Because it's that just... good. It's literally a, it is a system where you're just going to learn from the start, from the very beginning. And so anybody can learn it. That's what some I was going to ask. Like, yeah. Some people are like, oh, do I have to have a history in this? Yeah. No and, prereqs, huh? And what if I don't feel energy? What if I don't see energy? It's okay. You don't have to. I, when I first started, I didn't see, feel, I still don't see energy. I feel it. I smell it. Um, sense it, it, you know, but, but when I first started, I didn't feel it. I didn't. I didn't experience anything with it and it doesn't matter. It still works. I agree. Yeah. It's, it still works regardless of your sensation of it. It's still something's happening and you do get the results. And would you say they're instantaneous results every time? Does it take time to settle in? Cause sometimes when energy work happens, there's this like, uh, why am I not fixed immediately? And then I noticed a couple of days later, like, Oh, Hey, you know, I don't do that thing anymore, or I'm not so reactive, or I didn't get snagged by that conversation over there. Yeah, it definitely, there are some instantaneous, and then there are some that a day or two later, even a couple hours later, feel better. Mm -hmm. I had a really cool experience with a neighbor of mine who was in a motorcycle accident, oh. and he had um, flown over his motorcycle, and the handlebars hit the inside of his thigh, and there was like a cantaloupe size hematoma. On his thigh. Oh, oh. And the doctor just said, you know, it's going to take probably six to nine months. You're just going to have to massage it. Oh. He, he couldn't even touch it. It was so painful. Yeah. So when I talked to him about it, you know, he's a statistician. He's a, a brain. Yeah. So this kind of work was just like weird to him. Mm -hmm. But when I told him I could help him, he said, well, I'll try it. So he came over. I did one session with him. And at the end of the session, he said, what's really weird, Joyce, is when you were working on that area, my thigh, I could almost feel it shrinking. Mm. He said, we'll go home and look. So he went home and then he called me and he said, it is like three, four smaller. Or wow. like a fourth, a fourth of it had shrunk. Oh, like so a quarter. It, of, it's a quarter, yeah, a quarter smaller. Of, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. And he said, and I can touch it. It's not. That's so big too. Much. Yeah. And so he's like, this is some pretty crazy hippie shit. And I'm coming back. Right. You know, yeah, I'm here so, for it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, it's pretty weird, but you know what? I'm up for it because this works. And, and I have had experiences like that instantaneous. That's awesome. So you don't have to have like the faith or the intention necessarily for it to have an effect on you. No, you know, I, I had one person, only one in the last eight years that came in forced, pretty much forced by his wife. And ah, and he had some ringing in his ears and um, he didn't want to be here. And yeah, that makes sense. I could sense it from his energy, you know? And so after doing an energy cleanse on him, I said, how are you doing? He goes, no different. Mm -hmm. And I said, did you want to be here today? And he goes, no. 
I, this is weird. I don't want to be on my wife. Maybe be here. And I said, you know what? Oh. It's okay. I said, if you'd like it to work, you can allow it to work. And I let, you know, just send him on his way. Yeah. And, and you know, yeah. And if he felt better, I don't know. I don't know. You know? Hey, if you felt better guy and you're listening for some, come reach out, tell Joyce what the experience right. was. Right. That makes sense though. It's, I feel like we just have to open the door a crack and say, uh-huh. I'm that much willing. It doesn't have to be um, like, oh, I have this, you know, this huge faith that it's going to work. The door is totally open. It's just like, don't close the door. You can have it open a crack and still receive. I, it's going to, yes. this work will just slip in there anyways. And, and you know that, so I work with my kids and using this kind of this energy mastery foundations tool and they notice the difference and they might like, like I got a young kid who's like, Oh, I don't know. And I'm like, she'll tell me like not to take it from her. Sometimes I'm like, okay, can I take the energy off? You know, like I give it over to Christ and, and the divine and to the earth. And she's like, no, don't do it. And she'll want to like, keep it for a while. And I'm like, okay, you, again, you got your agency if that's what you want to do. But more often than not, my kids are okay. Yeah. Take the energy off or all, you know, what's that word? empower them to do it for themselves. And They'll do it for each other. If they accidentally hit each other, they're, oh, okay, let me take the energy off. Sorry, you know. And honestly, I think it's it's different than a sorry or an apology. It's not like a, oh, yeah, sorry. It's like a, hey, I could do something to help you. And, you know, there's so much more behind it. And I think, again, that's another beautiful thing about this work is that it's not surface level but it's as easy as if you're on the surface doing stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't have to like uh, gruel and spend eight hours meditating to make it work. Right. You're doing your cleanses and then you're offering it. And I think in combination with the, I don't know, all the energies that are for this, it's just like love, right? It gets to clean off and go. And I'm like, it's magic. <laughs> I just love it. It's it made a huge difference. Really is life. magic. Yeah, it, it is. is magical and it is mir- miraculous, really. Um, I love being able to help my grandchildren. I have teenage grandchildren who will call me. They don't live here. Now that's the cool thing about energy work also is it's not, energy is not local. Mm -hmm. So I can do energy. I have clients all over the United States. And so I can work on people everywhere. And my grandsons live in Idaho. And so they'll call me. They, you know, they're skateboarders. Uh, They told me, you know, I got hurt. Can you help me? Da, 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 you know. And I love the fact that I can help them. Right from afar. Yeah. You don't have to be there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I had a couple of clients that were in Europe on vacation last week. And so they're calling me from France. Can you work on me? You know, I'm pretty cool. You know, it's, I, I love being able to do that. So. so does it have to be like an acute injury, bodily harm, or like, what are some other things that people could be using this for? Cause I heard, you know, we've got daily routine in the morning to kind of, if, if you're asking me to like have a clearer day, a smoother day and not be so in your head, and then you can do it at night as another kind of pro, or, um, routine, clean everything off. And then a, a kind of acute injuries, when else would, can people use this? And like, what else are people calling you for to, to get you to work on them? Um, pain, they have pain. pain in their back. Okay. Right? Um, so I have protocols for like chronic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anxiety, big mm, one. That's coughs. right. A lot of people are getting coughs. So I have a cough and respiratory protocol that I work on people a lot. I do a lot of cough lenses on people. Insomnia. People. Oh, nice. Sleeping. Yeah. yeah. It's not migraines. That's another biggie. Mm-hmm. People who get migraines. And so, um, you know, they'll just call and say, Hey, I have a migraine or, Hey, I got a cold and a cough. Can you work on me? And, you know, so, yeah. So, so what are the long-term effects of like receiving this kind of cleansing? What do you think? Have you seen, have you, I know like here research, did you <laughs> complete a study on this Joyce? But have you noticed people that are working with this over the long term? you don't see things come back or is it like, Hey, we're living life stuff happens or is there a pattern that you notice the more you use this the more you get blank um i don't I'm know like, that was I'm a just, scattered per, my own personal experience from my own personal experience i definitely am a, i'm a different human than i was eight years ago i'm not the same human you know i am not high strung i would say eight ten years ago before i started doing this i was kind of hyper you know, yeah. I don't, I don't drink caffeine because my heart races when I drink it. And 
you would think I was drinking caffeine because I was pretty hyper. Yeah. And, and I would say I'm much more Zen than I've ever been. So Zen. I know you to so, be so Zen. Yeah. Do, do you feel like that? <laughs> and I remember me? some other. I feel that way about myself. Yeah. I but, agree. Yeah. yeah. Like the, I, the true you is definitely shining through and it's not. So I think for other people as well, it's it, when we're, we're using this tool, instead of us being a reaction to everything energetically around us, we get to be like sourced from the inside and like our divine selves. And that gets to, to fill our energy container instead of like the gunk, the outside coming in and, oh, we think that's us, all these thoughts or emotions that fly around and energies. When we clean those out, our true self gets to like flow forward and that gets to be us. So yeah, yeah, you're Zen <laughs> and you have a good amount of energy, but you're not yes. like, yeah. I mean, I have plenty of energy to do whatever I want and mm -hmm. gratefully. So I'm super grateful that I have a too, body thanks. that's healthy and functional and, thank you, and thank I can you, thank do what you. I want, you know? Um, but I also attribute it to energy mastery. You know, I, I, I've had people tell me they think I look younger um, yeah. than I did when I started, you know? And so, so there's, you know, there's a lot of good things that come from it. So, but I would say um, the probably most common protocol I do on myself is anxiety. Because yeah. there are times I'll wake up feeling anxious, you know, mm. just about all that I need to get done. Oh, and, yeah. And once I do that anxiety, I'm, or sometimes I'll even be sad. I'll wake up sad and I'll be crying, you know, and I can start my cleanse and halfway in the middle of crying, I'm stopped crying and I'm okay. You're like, yes. When? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, that's just even with myself, but then I watch it with clients. I, I've had clients who, um, have had pain. In fact, a recent client who had like a car accident oh. and who had pain in their, where they were hurt, you know, and their ankle, their wrist, their back, their neck, that kind of thing. And yeah, you know, after okay. just, after That's even tough. just one session, she said she felt better. So Ooh, yeah, I pretty cool. feel like that speaks to opening up the channels in the body, the chi, the prana to be able to do what they're already good at. And when we get into some kind of trauma or, you know, collision that in that case, those energies stop flowing. There's like a block or maybe not a block or like a kink or like a twist or something choke, whatever of the energy. And then this gets to ooh, clean those, cleanse those off. And there's, and I, I'm like, I don't know. I just like, it works. Even if you like, you think, well, that doesn't make sense. Or like, I don't know about where's the science on that. It's like, just try it, just try it out and see how it goes. And, and I've loved it. And I've come back again to just brush up on it. And I'm like, Oh, Hey, this, feel, I'm like learning more. And I've seen the, the gifts in this work improve. And kind of by that, I mean, like there are different protocols and these different things that we learn how to do it. And I'm like, Oh yeah, I feel the difference with this the way you've told me to do this tool, I maybe missed that piece before. And now this is really great. And so the, we're talking about energy mastery, the foundation little course, but there is more to that. I feel like there's some crystals. Like, do you have, can you share any info on that? Are there like more advanced courses? Well, I do. Yes. There is advanced course. I teach a crystals course. You have to take my beginner's foundation course first. Makes sense. And then I teach a two day crystals course and, and actually Yummy. using crystal wand and Using a crystal wand is like using having a hundred hands. So mm. it really amplifies off the cleansing. And so I use the crystal with those who infect, especially those with with ailments or injuries. Um, I make sure I use that. So, and then there are some people who just hire me and just say, Can you just do an entire crystal cleanse on me? Yep. Oh, yes. You know, and I also have a facelift um protocol that I do with people. And oh, hey. I crystal with that. So. so we can avoid Botox or, oh, you yeah. know, facelift and surgeries and injections or whatever other people just by cleaning our energy and this facelift. Is it a protocol? Or it's a whole course. Am I correct? It's a protocol that I have to have 10 sessions. Oh, um, to, to complete, to, to, to complete get the results. The, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And we focus on one area of the face. It's like, I don't do an oh, okay. entire face. It's like, It'd be like the area. eyes. 
or something here or here you know here wherever okay cheeks wherever or mouth person, or... yeah wherever the person wants to focus on then that's where I focus on for those 10 sessions interesting and, and when I think about the energy that might build up in the frown lines you know like oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, or yeah. for me I'm like a, if you can watch the video like I scrunch this all the time I'm always thinking and I'm not sure and I don't know and I've got these scrunches right between my eyebrows and then you know anybody who's doing the oh my eyebrows up <laughs> I, I'll keep my little smile lines by my eyes. I'm cool with those. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, I think of the energy that we're doing, you know, creating and absorbing when we're scrunching and, you know, doing these yeah. movements with our faces. Think it's about kind of- what you do with your face. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're staring at a computer all day, those who are staring at the computer, are you smiling at it? Or are you frowning at it? You know, are you, are, what are you doing when with your face? It's, it's kind of just, be conscious of that. That's my first little tip for you. Be conscious of what's going on your, your own face. facelift by just being conscious of what you do with your face. I like that. Okay. I'm like, I'm going to have to watch this and be like, what was my face doing the whole time? <laughs> and what am I bringing into my life by that? I feel like there's a really nice and beautiful lesson in there. Um, so you do, it's a 10 sessions with the face facelift, but the, I think that you can learn a lot about yourself in that. Oh. So are those, do you have to do those in session? I mean, excuse yeah. me, in person. Uh, the first two I need in person and I can do them oh, remote. Okay. Oh, yeah. And, and there, it's a lifestyle change for the person who's doing the facelift and there's a lot to it. Okay. This, it's not just show up on its own. Oh, but, okay. It's not just yeah. show up by itself. It's like they get to do some you of their You get to do your part. Work. Yeah. The person who's getting the Very facelift, cool. they, they have a contract they have to sign that they're going to do their part too. Okay. So facelifts coming your way, everybody get in with Joyce. And do they have to take the core class in order to receive these? Okay. So those you can just show up for. Well, in that sense, you got to commit to the doing the work though. Okay. That's beautiful. And then the wands class, um, do they have to have their own wand or does that come with the class? I provide that that comes with the class. It's really cool. cool And you have to know about crystals I mean, I know that you're going to, they'll do your core class and then, okay, but you don't even have to know about that. So you don't have to be like in the know on all those things. Joyce has got the information for you. I didn't and know a thing I when I first did. Yeah. When I first did my first crystals class, I didn't know a thing about them. Yeah. Were you like against crystals and energy work? No, ever? I just didn't really know much about them. Okay. You know? Now I'm, I'm, I still would not tell you I'm completely knowledgeable about crystals at all. I mean, I have a book, I have a book that I read what stones are and what they do, you know, but, right. but I know how to use the crystal to do energy healing and it's pretty phenomenal. Oh, that's cool. And it's very, very in-depth training. It, it's like, we're, we're talking the energy mastery is comprehensive. Well, the crystal one is like really comprehensive. In-depth. Really ah, in-depth. That's awesome. Yeah. And again, it still works with energetic systems, the chakras, the auras. Yes. And, okay. Yep. Well, very cool. That's exciting. There's, there's a lot to this. So is there anybody who shouldn't be using the receiving these sessions or taking this core class, this energy mastery core class? Okay. So it's like, if you have diabetes or if you're, you know, five years old, you can, I mean, obviously my kids use it, but um, yeah. So there's nobody this wouldn't be beneficial for. I would probably no say not younger than 12. You know, I would say maybe not to younger, teach. maybe a 10 year old could take it if they're really into it. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm but like, yeah. I don't trust my kids. No, I'm kidding. I would wait till they were older is what I mean. That's awesome. So, and you could do it anywhere. I love that. And, um, sounds like any time because people are calling you, it's an acute thing. And, um, and it shows up when it shows up, you know, I, if you do it to someone in France, does it take longer or is it instantaneous? I know. I was like, I know what I think, but it what do you say, say it did? So, well, still worked. Yeah. So, is there any other way that you would say this changed your life? Cause we kind of talked about like, you're looking younger, your, your energy is different, but has it, has it affected those people around you? Oh, I think for sure. Um, I, for one, I think people interact differently to me. It's, you know, it's little things, but my energy is, is not abrasive. And mm. so I, I, here's a silly example that I went to my niece's graduation at ASU the other night and her grandpa, who's my brother-in-law is, has a handicap. So we were on, we were taking a, the shuttle thing oh, okay. and I asked the guy who was driving the shuttle, you know, I just asked him, I said, do you know where this parking lot is? Cause I parked and I don't know where it's at now. 
Right. And he, and he said, I'll take you. And I said, oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. And so when I got off the shuttle, I said, thank you so much. And he said, you know what? I helped you because you are a kind person. Hi. And I went, <laughs> well, okay. I'll take it. You know, and he said, not very many people are kind to me. You're very kind to me. Oh. And I thought, I thought, all I did is ask him, please take me. You yeah, know, or, treat him like a human. Show me where I'm at going, you know. But um, I'm not reactive. Um, I don't get angry easily. Um, I, I just feel like things are different inside of me so that I don't have the same kind of energy that I did at one time. Yeah. I, I take offense easily. Um you're not as reactive. I feel like no. like you don't have to jump into fear and, uh, and like judgment about like, I got to keep safe. It's like, yeah. I'm safe yeah. where I'm at. And so I don't have to worry in, about uh, everybody else as much. Yeah. I was going to say too, I've noticed, I don't know if it's, I feel like it started after energy mastery. You also have this practice of you go take food to those in Phoenix who are without a home and they're living in tents and stuff. And, and I know those people enjoy you guys coming out there and that, first of all, that's impressive. And thank you. Do you feel like you would have been, would you, would you have done that as easily before energy mastery? Do you think it's had an effect on stuff like that? The service that you do, the interaction you have with humans um, that you don't even know. Probably has an, uh, an effect on humans. I don't know, but you know, I grew up feeding homeless people. So, you oh, so yes. you know, it's like that it's never okay. bothered me. You know, okay. some people, whenever I invite people to help us, some people are afraid. Some people are afraid of the homeless people. And a lot of them are drug addicts, you know, um, that's okay. I don't care. I have never, ever, ever felt threatened that's um, good. whenever I've been homeless. I, I don't go there with any fear. And, and some people have been afraid. And so it's, you know, it's good for them to see that. Is there a protocol for fear with the energy mastery? I do anxiety. Oh, duh. okay. That makes sense. So it's really a very versatile tool, oh, comprehensive. Yeah. And dare I say that makes the simplicity makes it easy to learn. If you ask me, it's, yeah. um, uh, I don't know. It's somewhat repetitive in a good way. Whereas like, okay, I'm doing this particular portion again and, or this hand gesture or this kind of, well, I'm not kind of cleanse, but something, you know, it's simple in that way. And, um, I, and then the protocols, it's very organized. I really like the, the tool and, and I use it with my clients. My husband loves it, loves it. <laughs> so is this a hands-on tool? Is this, a, well, I know that we can do it across countries, but do, do you ever do hands-on with it? Or is it always like, I'm just outside of your energy field? I don't ever touch the body. It's literally okay. just, I call it washing their windows. You know, mm -hmm. our windows get dirty and muddy, and which makes it hard to see out. And that's why sometimes we have to work so hard to just get through a day. Because if your energy field's really muddy, it's complicated to actually see anything very clearly. So if I wash your windows, you can see things clearly. And that just makes it so much more ease. There's a lot more grace and ease in that. Definitely. Yeah. You don't, again, don't get like snagged. So there's an opportunity here for people to just receive this cleanse from you, to take the course with you. And, and then continue that education and they can start, they can already be, you know, like this great guru and energy, but they can also be somebody who's like, I don't know, it called to me. I'm just calling you now. And I just want to sign up. So do you have a class that's coming out that we can share with everybody? I do actually. I have an energy mastery foundations class on June 9th and 10th and Ooh. it's, it's here in Gilbert. Um, I hold my classes at the Hampton Inn on Higley and I 60 in Gilbert. Okay. Gilbert, and, um, Arizona. Sweet. And then I have a crystals class coming in October, October 27th and 28th. So Ooh, mark your calendars. Yeah. Okay. Crystal class. And, but first the foundation class coming up in first June. foundation classes in June. And then I have another one in September. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's September. So there's two opportunities to get into that so that you yes. can then get into the crystal class Yes. and just start cleaning your energy and frankly, have a better life because that yes. seems to be the case here. You're it looking younger, far. you yeah. feel it better. Your kids do better. Yeah. Those around Everything. you are feeling healthy. I, it, it's made a really huge difference in my life and um, just a simple cord cutting technique. And that has been huge uh, because I feel like we're always, our attention is always being asked for and demanded by the stuff around us, particularly social media, 
Polly doing podcasts to you. No, <laughs> but it's, if we can't, we want to curate what we internalize. And when we can't do that, we're getting blasted by advertisements or, or I don't know, people yelling, or we just, this is the life we have. This energy tool can make a difference in getting back to yourself, who you are, your own energy and releasing off energy. That's not yours. So everyone do it. <laughs> I'm like, everyone get in on this. Yes. Yeah. No. And if, if people want to know more on my website, they can go and they can book a free consultation, which just is like cool. a 10 minute phone call with me to ask more questions that they have about, you know, really, is this what I want to do? Or, you know, or how can you help yeah. me? Um, so, you know, that's a complimentary thing. And then those who are listening here, I can offer you the same thing that I offer when I do energy clinics. And that is like your first time session would be half price for a hundred dollars. Wow. That's nice. So anybody who wants to do that, you, it's you can't it book that on my website. So you'll have to call me for a consultation. Or, <gasps> it's worth it. Uh, and you hear how sweet Joyce is and you can see how sweet she is like call Joyce. She's so easy to talk to and kind and loving and then get, yeah, take advantage of that. I'm just like, dang, if only I hadn't seen you before. No, I'm kidding. I'm glad to have this in my life. And so anybody who's called to this, please reach out to Joyce and get that half off session. That's an amazing price. And, um, and so if they book a session with you, they can sign up for the coursework with you too, and kind of like see and feel that out. Um, that sounds exciting. So where is the best place for people to find you? On my website, it's called yourhealingevolution.com. Yourhealingevolution.com. And I'll have that in the show notes. And I know you're on Instagram, you're on Facebook, and and YouTube, you're channel. On YouTube. So the YouTube resources, if you guys are like mm, still filling out the energy, check out Joyce's YouTube. It's really good also comprehensive. That's like the word of the day today, but there's a lot on there. A lot of resource that's, um, you know, you can get into Joyce's world and then say, okay, I'm ready to take the plunge. Cause I feel like some people it's instantaneous. I know I have to call you immediately. And some people, they like to dip a toe. So that's really worth it. And if you're jumping in with Joyce, check out her website too. Just, I mean the, the YouTube, all the things. So I, I really love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So do you have any mm, last energetic insights or things you'd like to share or say before we let listeners go? Um, I would simply say, really, if you really want to clean up your energy field and you do nothing else, take a salt bath and pour salt cups. bath. That's a really good thing. No more than 15 minutes. And then solar plexus are right here. Take your hand like a sword and cut down the front. Anytime oh yeah, take, I'm all about that. Anytime you take a fence, anytime you take a hit from somebody's energy, you know, you walk into a room and it feels really yucky, just cut the cords. Mm -hmm. You know, if, Detach. If, you walk, if somebody attacked you, you know, verbally in some way or said something you didn't like, walk away and cut the cords. It's We never cut cords of love, but we can cut cords to negative energy because it's mm -hmm. not ours. It makes a huge difference. I'm someone who's like, it comes in the solar plexus. And when I do that, I'm like, oh, whew, I can breathe again. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. So those are just a few good energy tips you can practice. Love it. I love it. And then in, they're in more detail on her website, on her YouTube. So again, check those out. Take the class too. <laughs> free video, actually a free video on my website that it'll show morning exercises, cord cutting and grounding. So they can get that too. Awesome. That's beautiful. Thank you. And a little ding just for fun. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else heard that, but okay. Um, so we know where to find you. We know some tips and tools and I'm excited for people to join in on your world. And thank you again for showing up here and sharing your knowledge and wisdom and love with us. We really appreciate it. And I won't, yeah, I mean, so I want to say to listeners, just use these tools, everything that you gained here as a way to love yourself and to love yourself forward, backward, inside and out, because you are the unfolding of the universe.